Hello friends, welcome back to another video tutorial from this Shomus Biology. And in this video, we are going to talk about the best way to prepare Unit 8 for CSR UGC NET exam. Now, Unit 8 is genetics. This is my personal favorite unit, genetics. Why? The reason behind it is that this is 100% conceptual. This is a unit which is fully conceptual, okay? You don't need to mug up most of the things. It's fully conceptual. That means once you understand genetics very well, uh, you will remember it throughout your life because it is conceptual. If you know the concepts well, you can answer questions from genetics years to come. So if you practice it once and prepare it very well for once, you are going to use it for the future uh, times when you appear for the exam in multiple times in the future. That's why genetics is very good. And the number of questions asked from genetics is also very, very high. Okay, it's very good, very weightage, uh, weightage full topic. Now, uh, the, you can divide the genetics into two different portions. One is the molecular genetics and one is the Mendelian genetics or non-Mendelian part of or classical genetics. The molecular genetics involving all the molecular genetics pathway that is either bacterial genetics that includes the conjugation, transduction, transformation, those topics. And the second thing is uh, the eukaryotic, I mean eukaryotic or prokaryotic other molecular genetics that involves the mutation, DNA damage, DNA repair. Okay, recombination and all these things. These things are also present in the molecular part of the genetics. And the other hand is the classical genetics where we have Mendelian genetics and non-Mendelian genetics. So, you need to prepare everything. You should not leave any of this concept. Okay, if you are from zoology background, you know about genetics. If you are from biotechnology, you know about genetics. If you are from microbiology, you may or may not know about genetics. You need to read it from the beginning. So, I think you have a basic idea about the genetics. And if you see genetics questions, uh, we cannot guarantee whether they ask more question from the classical part of the genetics or they ask more question from uh, the molecular part of the genetics. But if they ask more question from classical part, they will ask it from non mendel inheritance patterns regarding, you know, epistasis, ratio of epistasis regarding incomplete dominance, co-dominance, all these questions, all these types, polygenic inheritance and all. And if they ask pleiotropy, penetrance, expressivity, all these things, this is from the classical part of the genetics. From molecular part of the genetics, they may ask question from DNA recombination and DNA repair mechanisms and the different sorts of DNA repair mechanism like nucleotide excision repair, base excision repair, methyl mismatch repair, when they are done, how they are done, SOS repair, where they are done and all these things. Okay, so these are the uh, different uh, genetics type questions that they ask from the genetics. Okay, so again from the classical genetics, they will also ask pedigree analysis. Is, which is very very favorite for CSI net question setters, they can ask pedigree. Sometimes in some session they totally snub pedigree and some other session they may ask 2-3 pedigrees in one, one year. Another thing is very important regarding genetic is that it's 70-80% to 80 of the questions are mathematical there. So you need to understand theory first obviously and then you need to practice the math questions of genetics. The math questions of genetics means the math question from classical genetics, Mendelian genetics and non-Mendelian genetics, the ratios. Ratios from the incomplete dominance, ratios from the non Mendelian inheritance. You also need to prepare the HFR mapping problems, genetic linkage problem, as well as tetrad analysis problems. These are the topics that you need to prepare very well as a genetics math problems for the preparation of genetics math problems. Okay. Now, many students ask me from where you should uh, study genetics. You know, there are two books one is the Russell I genetics from molecular part of the genetics. And then there is Clagg and Cummings concept and, concept and connections genetics for the mathematical genetics part. Both of them are equally important and both of them you need to study well to understand the classical genetics and molecular genetics in clear idea. And if you want to practice more of these genetics math problems, there are not much books available there. You can search the genetics math problem online and can start finding some questions there. We have a, one book that we prepared the bio math handbook where we put all these questions together. It's only biological math book, questions regarding Heinrich Weinberg, genetics, biochemistry, unit 13 and all these things are present there. Uh, so you can buy this book, but this book is only to be sold with the study material complete package that is a total uh, package, okay? It's, this book is not to be sold alone. Anyway, now this is the idea about this. You can just search these questions online. You can start practicing this, uh, these questions. Uh, and once you practice these questions, you practice in the notebook and remember try to understand this concept very clearly and understand this concept, put this concept in your mind and not only about putting this concept in your mind but also you put it into the notebook so that you can recall the concepts and you can understand and practice is the key for genetics. If you don't practice, you will forget about the concepts. Okay, so that's why practice is the key. Prepare genetics from the beginning. Okay, and uh, in the meanwhile, while you're studying other topics, other units, 
you you start practicing some of the maths of genetics that will also take your load off and and also take your load of boringness from the other topics okay genetics is very interesting to study that's all about it so if you like this video please hit the like button share this video with your friends subscribe to our channel to get more videos like this in future bye